Hello everyone, it's your girl Thomas Stitches. Are you joining us for the first time? Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so that once you upload any new video, you'll be notified immediately. So today, I want us to learn how to draft a booboo one-sided gown. What did I say? A booboo one-sided gown. That booboo that here is normal. Normal gown with a sleeve. While this side is booboo. This is normal half. This side is booboo. So stay tuned. Don't forget to press the notification bell so that anytime I upload any new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned. So we're going to be drafting one-sided booboo. So how do I get the material I need? I will measure the fullest part of the body. For a gown, the fullest part is the hip. But although some people are bustier, are bustier. So if somebody is, is more busty than, is very busty, you use the, the bust measurement so that it's sitting well. But for here, I, I'm using the hip measurement. And the hip I want to use, because of the pattern paper I'm using, is 7 inches. This 7 inches includes the sewing allowance. So now, I've gotten that 7 inches now. Let's assume this is my 7 inches now. I'll measure 7 inches all through. Then that 7 inches, I'm going to fold it on top of this now. So that makes it, here is my 7 inches. And I still have the remaining material. So now, I want my booboo sleeve to fall at 12 inches. Half inch so in a level, so let's say 12 inches. So the whole material I'll be using here in a fold will be 12 and a half inches. Here is a normal uh, dress, normal body, basic 40 pattern. Here is the bubble part. This is the dress, this is the bubble part. Both are dress anyway. So, first of all, I'll insert my neck measurement. Like I said, I'm just using this as a draft. So, let me use my three inches here and the neck depth I want to use here because I'm cutting the front and the back so everything is together here I will now insert let's say two inches so first of all I'll pull it out I'll be using the same measurement from the front for the front and the back as in the neck depth I'm using the same thing so I've carved it out. Now I, put, I want to put my shoulder slant. I'll be using two inches here. But like I said, I will still be inserting my normal shoulder measurement still before I put this slant. So let me do my normal measurement here. I'll go down by one inch. Then I'll get the armhole length I'm using here is seven inches. So let me connect this. Just connect this. Now let me insert my bust. This is my chest line now. I roll it up. Have a chest line here at seven, or we'll have a waistline at twelve. Then we'll have our hip at eighteen. Then the full length at 25 chest line waist hip and then full length so let me roll them out let me roll them out Good. chest c waist w then hip the yeah. ml line so now let me insert my measurement. The bust I'm using here, divide by four plus sewing allowance is six inches. Then the waist I want to use here plus sewing allowance will be five inches. Then the hip I'm using here plus sewing allowance is seven inches. I will not take that seven inches all through down. To the full length still. Okay. 
again don't forget to bring down the uh, armhole here move it down insert our armhole don't forget that so I've inserted my armhole so I'll now be joining this marks I've made here. This is it. This. Then this one, then that one. Now if you look, this seven inches I've marked out is what I need for the other part. There are two parts, the bubble part and the normal basic body pattern. So I've drafted it now. I'm going to cut it off. But before I do that, I'll extend my shoulder down. I'll extend it down. Let me cut it off. Okay, so I've gone ahead to cut it. But remember, that seven inches are folded on top. Here is what I'm using to cut the piece. So be careful not to cut the bubble part. This is it. This is it. So this is the main body now for one side, and this is the bubble body. But before we go, we'll have to insert our sleeve for the bubble. So you come to the hem of this sleeve here now. You need to measure where you want the sleeve to sit in well. So I would like to work with six and a half. So this is six and a half. So that is where the sleeve will sit in. So with this now, don't forget that we are going to, we are going to be tracing this shape on this. But because I already have a sewing allowance on this part, so I'll just trace it out before I continue. Press it on the bubble part. They are all in fold, making four folds here. Okay. So we are pressing it out. Yeah, I've pressed it out here now. But I will be removing that half inch. Or say maybe it's one inch you added that sewing allowance. I'm going to be removing it from the booboo -boo part. So I'll now come towards the side now. Where I want to stitch this from now. Don't forget that part. I'll be stitching it after the armhole. You can decide to stitch at the boss point or under boss. So the boss point here is 8 inches. The under boss is 10.5 inches. So if you want to hold those sides from here. So be it. So I'm going to be holding it from here. So this is where I want to start stitching my booboo. So that's now. I will now come in here by that one inch sewing allowance I already put on this part. So you move it like this. Hope this is clear. Sure. Now come in. Let's say half inch. Because not that much. Half inch all through. You don't need any sewing allowance when you are holding it together. So now I'm using the half inch. So here is where you need to stitch together when you're holding your caftan bubble side. So by the time you stitch, I need it to be the same side with the single part. So that is it. Now I'm going to cut off our shoulder and the neckline. I'm using the same neckline. You can go deeper if you want. Here I have two inches. You can decide to do five inches, six inches, depends on you. But I'm okay. I can just go by one, making it, I'll add one more inch. That's making it three inches. So I'll now add, use my curve ruler to get my neckline. Don't forget the shoulder. We've already added, uh, extended down the shoulder. You can extend it by two inches, one and a half, three inches, depends on what you want to achieve. So I'll now be cutting the both neckline together. That 
at it. And I will now cut the shoulders together. Don't forget to put your half inch sewing allowance. This is the pattern paper. So when you are cutting yours, after using the pattern paper, you can drop straight on the material and you can drop on the pattern paper. So here, what we have. Can you see? Can you see how beautiful it looks? It's very well. This is one side. This is the bubble part. One more thing before I go. Measure what you have as your shoulder here. We have 13. So if you have more material, go with that. Measure it down, it should be the same thing. Here is where I marked for the bubble parts. See how beautiful it looks. So all you need to do now. Take it to your machine. First, join the shoulders. You're going to be cutting sleeve for this uh, part. You're going to be a long sleeve or a short sleeve. Depends on you. You join your two shoulders. Then you join the body. You know there's sewing allowance here of one inch. You join it. Then now put this together. The front facing the back facing the back. So I'm going to be stitching on the front of the material. You just follow this line. Stitch it down. Now your booboo is here, now is your normal uh, dress on the side. If this tutorial has been helpful, please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so that once we upload any new video, you'll be notified. We'll also have an Instagram page. The name is Tama Stitches, Tama underscore 19. That's our Instagram page. So go there too and follow us. Stay safe. Take care. Thanks for watching.